that's it right there the last look at the sun for me here in kansas about to put the chevy in the wind and head to georgia we finally ended up with a bang and if anybody's been following along obviously that we thought had a curse going on and said well got a deer killed and got over it but little did we know two days later the footage would go corrupt and did everything we could to save it so if the kill looks a little bit funny on the kill shot it's because literally it's recording off my phone here that i recorded that night of the next morning i woke up and footage was gone my buddy chance got a little bit of it back but we pieced it together to make do and thank you everybody out there that's followed along people that i've never even met before the messages and the motivation the rally caps um to keep going for this 39 day saga here in kansas we finally ended it with a bang thank you again hope y'all enjoy the sun right there has looked the same for over a month literally over a month hey ross what day are we on 68 brother 68 <laughs> And I'm on, I'm, I've been here two-thirds of the time. But I'm hitting on less because, buddy, <laughs> it's about over. The, the fat lady's humming, humming. I hope she's humming down there by that ground blind. If I could get a couple of these Remington and Federal and, and, and Vistas and all them boys shot, she might be able to really holler. We've been through We've been through backwoods. We've been through a grind. We've been through a curse. I don't know what the talking point of this show is. Don't forget be. the four mm. things of Rice Krispie treats. There you go. And, and, and a case of Rice Krispie treats. And but. the voodoo wish doctor's going to move in. I, I called, hope not. I called him out of Dodge City. He's coming. Oh, with tonight? He got that little dog. Look just like you. <laughs> like he gonna, like he a little gonna, Indiana Jones dog. Mm -hmm. we got, we've got. we been through Backwoods, who's MIA still. Drop Time, who's completely broke up. The Big Eight, which he's broke up. Tonight is a new night, new day. I think he's going in tonight. Anything mature. Mature. Let's do it, Slim. Do it like Bo Cephas does, Bo brother. Does, bro. Bo Cephas. Bo They're ready to go. And it's toasty. My gosh, and this blind is showing up toasty, but back at it again the last night, man. So freaking close to this big eight-pointer that come in here. Man, he just comes shooting the gap and then never did come back. So fortunate to draw a non-resident Kansas tag, but who would have thought I'd have been here? This is day 39. Unbelievable. Went all in for about 33 days on the deer named Backwoods. That didn't work out. Has complete bad luck since then. And last night was the first mature deer in bow range. In 39 days, 38 days. Hoping it happens again tonight, but I can say one thing. I can already see the pile here. I noticed it on the Spartan earlier today. I put a bag of Game Changer out yesterday and it is completely gone. And I actually put just a regular bag of Sweet Feed from the co-op next to it to do a little test. And they ain't even touched it and that Game Changer's just demolished. Looking for anything mature and need to get something killed, I'd like to go on for Christmas. Day 39 here in Kansas. Movement here, pods. There's a lot of people that, in growing up, I've always thought. Last hour and the first hour is my favorite time to hunt, but being here in Kansas, the favorite part of the day for me is about four o'clock, especially here in the late season. There's some magical things that happen right after four o'clock. Mm.
baby, help me. Take it how you can get it, boys. Take it how you can get it. Thirty-nine days in Kansas. Thank you, Jesus. Oh man. I seen this deer coming in. And I asked him, I said, Jesus, if it's your will, let my baby help guide the air here. And he's dead. I ain't never in my life worked so hard. And, and give it all I got for an animal. I don't even know what I'm doing, I'm rambling. All I know is I'm so thankful for the good Lord, for the passion of hunting and having good friends and sharing camp. Called my buddy Barry Ross to see what, I thought it got on Spartan, I guess he didn't come in there enough. But... You feel it? Hey buddy. Man, you I'm, get him? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scorn, I don't know man, I just, I'm gonna get my stuff and get out of here. What happened? What? What? Oh, hey, what, what I happened? Let, Something happened bad or what? Well, I, was, I, was, I know you're busy. I know you got a lot going on. I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess nothing up because I know you stressed out. What is it? But nothing. I'm, I need your help though. What do you need my help for, dude? You know I help you anyway. I can't. What's gonna happen? I, I need your somebody help. Somebody come in there. Somebody come in there on you. I need your help loading this big old deer I just killed up. Philip, I'm finna whoop yo. Dude, I got chills on me right now. Are you serious? The one that's got the bumps on the right side coming here and I got him coming around the corner. Yeah. He, he's, yeah. A, he's a tank, son. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I've been, I'm telling you, dude, I've been praying. I ain't slept in my dad gum two weeks over this stuff. I'm looking at a deer. This uh this uh Perry Ross, a Robert Stivers, and a Culpepper deer, because this is a it's been a, this is a trifecta, son. This is a team effort. Man, I've cried. I'm serious, Perry. It's, this, this ain't my deer. This is all our buddy. Well, I'm so glad, man. It's been tough, I know. I mean, people people look at it as they're, and they're gonna see a picture on Instagram and look at the thumbnail and say, man, that's why they're clicking on the video. But I'm gonna tell you, I've, I've, I've prayed for a month just saying, God, whatever your will is be done. And I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's that hunting ain't about killing something. It's about, about us grinding it out for over a month and, and surrounding yourself by good folks and this is the Lord blessed us and we got icing on the cake laying out here about 30 yards you ain't joking dude I ain't lying we I know I ain't said nothing to nobody but man it's been about to run me crazy because I just every time we move right they go left you know what I mean oh I know I'll be there in about 10 minutes okay all right I ain't even gonna go out there I'm gonna sit here and wait on Perry Ross to get here and I wish Robert was here but I'm about to call Robert See, it ain't often you can just see one laying right there where you shot him. Literally where you shot him, but I'll tell you what, here comes Perry. Perry's emotion says it all. A lot of folks say, man, I can't believe you cried and thank the Lord and, and after you kill something and, and you know, but I'm gonna tell you, it's uh, that's what I love about Perry Ross. We're like brothers and Robert too, is we pour our heart and soul into this. And I know a lot of people out there do something you put your heart and soul into and when the lord bless you you do thank the lord because all good things come from god oh yeah we got a poacher pulling up 
is a good one. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Man, seriously, thank you for everything. I mean that. I seen them brow tines and I said, I don't know, he's good enough. He's a tank. I don't feel like I hit him bad. I just, I think it just, it just, you know what I mean? He was rolling out. You dog. Dang, he's a tank. He's a tank. Look at the brows on that sucker. Yeah, that's him. That's the dude, the bump there. Remember, we were yeah, calling the bump there. Oh, he's pretty, ain't he? He's got some mass, ain't he? Good gosh. He's broke up some stuff, but I, I don't know. And this may be the first hunt, the first recovery ever with a big feeder in the background. But hey, I don't know why we're whispering. I don't know, but this a deer come in. I got pictures out when he had his head down right there. Seriously, thank you. <laughs> we busted our butt for him, didn't we? Yeah, you called your daddy? Yeah, I called him. Yeah. I bet he should stay. Oh, together. yeah. We stuck it out and grinded it out and didn't quit. But I, I mean, would known. When you called me, something was going. Something was well, going. Well, no, on. you and you and uh, Truex got me that time. Well, oh, I did a deal in the open and the primal, saying, "Man, I hope I kill this the deer before the new the new new brown blinds come out. They're going to be a new model come out by the time I get one killed. <laughs> time we kill one, you know, upgrades and everything. <laughs> Comatose him. Yeah, comatose. Perry. We always bring people new in the mix. Perry ain't new to Hunt Club, but people that ain't following or subscribing to Hunt Club, what do they need to do? Well, they need to go to following you on, on YouTube and subscribe. And subscribe. There you and go. If you ain't subscribing, you're missing out on a story. Because <laughs> this, this has is, been one story. And this may be the shortest episode yet, but I'm happy it is because we just started it about four hours ago and we finally got, we got backstrapped. I'm gonna tell you, people overthink the key to success. How many, right. how many you think rice crispy treats it took for this deer? Whew, probably four dozen. I was about sick of rice <laughs> I know, I know you were bloated. I but was I getting <laughs> tired of the rice krispies. I ain't gonna lie.